What's up everyone, my name is Mrs. Delicious and welcome to another quick stream tip video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a very simple thing that you can add to your stream which is a little widget that shows your audience exactly what game you are playing. Because let's face it, how often has someone come into your stream asking you, hey, what game are you playing today? Now with this widget, you can show that off on places like your BRB scene, or for instance, also your intermission scene when you are out of your game because you wanted to welcome some new people or some raiders. You can show this little widget to indicate what game you are actually currently playing. And the way that we're gonna do this today is with Leon board, a tool that we've been using many, many times and we can do a lot of amazing things with that. So if you don't use Leon board already, I highly suggest watching my earlier videos on that, which show you how to install it and how to set up the basics of it. But today we're gonna use it to make this very simple widget that you can use to show off your currently playing game on your stream. Now, before we go any further, I want to take a very quick moment to thank all the people that have supported me over on my YouTube channel in the last month. These are the people that have subscribed in the last month. Thank you so much and welcome, of course, to the delicious people here over on YouTube. Now, like I said before, we're going to be using Leon board for this simple widget. And I've made this super simple for you. I made a installer that you can download for free or you can pay what you want over on my Kofi shop. You can download that, install it in Leon board and basically everything happens automatically. The only thing you have to do is customize it to your look and feel of your stream. But I'm going to show you exactly how you need to do that. Now, before we go any further, there are a few things that you need to have installed before installing my installer. Now, of course, we're going to be using OBS Studio. So make sure that you have it updated to the latest version. Sadly, this doesn't work in Streamlabs OBS. So if you're still using that, I highly suggest just switching to regular OBS Studio. Furthermore, we're going to be using the WebSocket plugin in OBS. And of course, you need to have Leon board installed and fully updated. And in Leon board, we need the get current channel game extension as well. All of that is linked in the description down below. And of course, you can find the links over in the readme file, which you can find in the download that you got from my coffee shop. Now, if you have all that, you are all set and we can continue on with the installation of the actual widget. All right, let's jump into OBS. Here we have my testing OBS setup. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to go into Leon board and the way that we're going to install this widget is super simple. Just make sure that you've downloaded everything and followed the instructions that I provided in the readme file. But basically what you need to do when you've downloaded the zip file, you're going to extract it. You go to your Leon board folder, then you go to your receiver folder. In there you have the ext folder. And over there, you can extract your zip file, which gives you this Mr. Delicious current game folder, which has everything in it that we need for this. Now back here in Leon board, what you're going to do, you're going to click on the install extension button. We're going to select the extension file, which is again in the folder that we just extracted. So it's going to be the Mr. Delicious current game installer.lbe file. That's the one that you're going to need. Click on that, open it up. And you can see that everything is going to get installed. Everything is going to get installed in OBS down here as well. We're going to make a new scene. All the sources are being made. And once we are done, you can see that Mr. Delicious current game is now installed. Close that and we can go in OBS and we see the three sources are now installed. And actually already, this is basically the gist of it. You can see the widget is already being made. You can see the now playing text, the game that I've last played, and of course, a box art for that as well. This is basically the basis of the entire thing. Now, of course, this doesn't look too good. This is pretty plain and simple. So we're going to customize this a little bit to our liking. But basically, this is all that you have to do. Once you've installed it, you can take this scene that we just made over here and you can make that as a nested scene and all the other scenes where you want to show off this widget and you are good to go. It works. And whenever you update your game, it will also update it in this widget. And to show you that it actually works, let me get my stream info window over here. And then once I change the category here to, for instance, just chatting, I'm going to do that. We're going to click done. And then within a couple of seconds, of course, it takes a little bit of time and it's all dependent on how fast Twitch actually pushes this information out to Leo on board. But as you can see, within a couple of seconds, we got the new game title playing. And of course, the new box art is there as well. And this works basically every time when you change your game, whether you do that with the dashboard or you just type a command in your chat as long as you change the game over on your twitch after a couple of seconds it will also change over in this widget now like i said before this is basically the basic version of the widget but of course if you want to customize that you can totally do that and it's totally up to you to customize this to fit the look and feel of your stream now one thing that you do need to keep in mind that we got three sources down here we got the browser source with the box art 
We got the text for the now playing title and we got the text current game. You can change all of these, but make sure you don't change the names of these sources. Otherwise things don't work anymore. You can change the size of this. So if you want to make it bigger or smaller, or if you want to add filters and OBS on it, you can totally do that. You can even change this text completely. So if you don't want to make it say now playing, you can make it say now streaming or current game or anything like that. You can change the fonts of that. You can change the color of the fonts. Uh, you can change the size of this as well. Same thing for this, uh, the current game, you can also change the font for that, the size and the color of the font. The only thing that you can't do is you can't add a heading or like a title to this. So for instance, if you type in now playing, it will save that, but after a while, after a couple of seconds, as you can see, it will set it back to the default. So we can't change the text that we see over here. But of course, other than that, you can add things and you can change everything to your exact liking. And then once you've done that, you change this and then you think it looks and feels good. Like I said before, you can just take the scene that we just created and add that as a nested scene to all the scenes where you want this widget to appear. Now, if you want a little bit of inspiration, the way that I use this widget, I show it off on my BRB scene when I'm actually taking a little break I showed this off so people know what game I'm actually playing. So let me show you that right now. Let's go to my BRB scene. I don't have my webcam active there, of course, because I usually am not around when I'm BRB. But you will see the game. The widget is over there. The box art is there. And I have the title streaming, just chatting, as you can see in my own font that I use for everything. Uh, and it's a simple thing. But I just like it that, you know, people who come in, they see exactly what game we are playing and they know exactly what they can expect when I come back from my break. And there you have it. That was actually a very simple and quick stream tip that you can use and install on your own streams as well. A little widget that shows your audience and your viewers what game you are playing at that exact moment, which is perfect for those intermission scenes where you don't actually always see the game or for instance on a BRB scene. When people come in during your break, they know exactly what game you are playing. As always, if this video was helpful to you, please consider supporting me and my content by leaving a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to my channel and of course ring that bell so you know exactly the moment whenever my next video goes live. Also if you want to see this widget and all of my amazing creations like my PlayStation trophy or my Raid Polaroid, you can actually come into my Twitch stream. I stream there every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and use all your channel points to test out all the amazing effects that I have on my stream. And I'm always happy to talk to you so don't be shy to say hi in my chat because I'm very happy meeting new people. Outside of that if you want to hang out with me you can do so over on my Twitter account where I always like to share some personal things as well as my video and Twitch updates or you can jump into my discord where you can hang out with me and other delicious members of the community and of course like I said before if you want to download this and other amazing effects that I've made you can go to my coffee shop where you can get all these effects for free or if you want to support me you can buy me a virtual coffee which directly supports me and my content so if you've done that already thank you so much now that's basically it for me for today thank you so much for watching hopefully this was helpful to you and you can actually use this widget on your own streams and as always the last thing that I will say is that my name is Mr. Delicious, you are all extremely delicious yourself as well. Take care and happy streaming. So let's have a look at our handiwork, what we've done. Oh no! Oh no, no, no! I didn't want to do that! Oh crap! <laughs> I didn't re I didn't think he was actually gonna jump. I thought there was just gonna be an invisible wall there. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!